This episode and my trip to Earth 2019 was sponsored by Filament One. Make sure you check them out at filamentone.com for all your 3D printing needs, including 3D printers, filaments, resins, subscription boxes, accessories, and much more. Makers, we are back here at Earth 2019, and next to me I have Mr. Mark Peng. Did I say that correctly? You, yes, you did. Perfect. And you are the, the owner, CEO of Peopoli. Is it Peopoli or Peopoli? Peopoli. Uh, I'm one of the founders of the Peopoli. One of the founders of Peopoli. I'm happy that I've always said Peopoli correctly. And right behind us there, we have the Phenom, which has recently been announced. Uh, so. What can you tell us about it, build volume? How long has it been in development? And when is it going on sale? Um, so uh, Vina is our third product uh, from Pio Pali. And uh, we spent about six months developing these products. Um, and what makes it different from our previous products is that it's uh, based on MSLA technology. So you use the LCD panel with the LED array underneath to solidify the resins. Uh, the build volume is 276 by 155 by 400 millimeter. And you can print up to 1.5 centimeter per hour. So you can hit about 30 uh, centimeters a day. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so it's, it's a, a much faster printer when you're printing full volume. And it's, I mean, I have the Moai, which is a laser um, SLA printer. Did you feel like you were out of your comfort zone doing something different than laser, which got you so far ahead of the game? Uh, I think that's a great question. Um, and I think, first of all, I think we will continue to develop on the more end. I think there's always a space for laser with the Galvo technology. And we have been building LCD type printers for about a year now, which is seven, never released that. Um, and we feel a certain type of prints, um, certain type of application, the LCD makes a lot more sense. So. Um, and we feel uh, our first LCD printer to be a large format one is a good way for us to introduce. Uh, we learned a lot from the Moai 200 development where the PO force is much greater than the regular Moai and that knowledge, that what we learned there is very important for developing these printers. Um, so is it is it proprietary? Did you uh, produce it yourselves, or would it be easy to source in the market, something like that? So um, now for panel production, um, those factories they need huge quantities. So uh, I don't think right now any uh, printer makers are able to make you know the complete panels themselves. I think what's important is that um, a lot of panels uh, made for uh, TVs or uh, laptops are not quite suitable. Uh, or not quite optimized for printing. So there's things you have to do to make it work uh, or last longer for 3D printing. So that's, uh, the, so we have extra process after we have the parts and then make it work for our printers. Right. And you've managed to keep the cost relatively low. I mean, that's a lot of print volume for what, under $2,000? Yes, uh, it's, uh, it's right now uh, we're taking pre-order at uh, $17.99. Um, and our goal here is really to drive the volume, um, to, to bring adoptions uh, uh, to this technology to our users. And that's, that's really what we're focusing on right now. And when do you expect this to start shipping? So we have been producing this since the end of September. Uh, we do have unions in warehouse now. Uh, what, what we are, we've learned a few things about uh, improving the cooling during the last week. And we want to kind of add that onto it before shoot them out. So I expect uh, we'll start shipping in about 10 days. So basically, this is not a pre-production unit. This is actually the final version with the little tweaks of the cooling that you just mentioned. Right, this is the final version. Uh, um, no, all the mechanical parts are already ready, just a little bit of things on cooling and electronics, uh, and it's ready to go. Brilliant. Well, wish you the best of luck yeah. with the Phenom. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll see one on, on the channel very soon. So thank you very much, Mark, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Joe.
So we're back here at Earth uh, 2019 and I'm with Kyle here, who is the creator of the Elite Machine Works. Does this have a specific name or just Elite Machine Works? I'm calling it the Ultimate XL right now. And the Ultimate XL um, is one of the most appropriate names I've ever seen for a 3D printer. I've, uh, I've tweeted out quite a few photos of this. Uh, this is probably the highlight of Earth 2019 for me. I've seen a few photos of this machine on Twitter in the past. Seeing it in person, it just blows my mind. It's a work of art. So please just explain to us the inspiration to build this machine, the specifications for it. Uh, how did it come about? Um, well, I run a CNC machine shop, and I'm an engineer. And I needed a printer that met my standards of what a 3D printer should be. So I had the resources and the know-how, so I designed an overkill printer that would reliably meet my needs and be precise. Um, it's got dual motors on the Y to move the bed. It's a Mic6 heat bed with its AC heater, 750 watt. The magnets are embedded into the bed. They're half millimeter from the bed surface. It's probably the strongest magnetic bed on the market. Probably a safety hazard, to be honest with you. It's, it's the kind that will uh, chop someone's fingers off if, if used inappropriately. Yeah, if you're not careful, yeah. And then the uh, extruder carriage, it's two cables, you disconnect them and the PTFE tube and the whole thing comes off so you can work on it on your bench and stuff like that. Um, what about build volume? Build volume is 300 by 300 by 300. And will that be the only print volume because I, is that a different size or is it the same size? It's a the... different size, yeah, that, that's the one that started it all. That, that one is 250, 250, 300, um, but the market, I see where it's going and, and they kind of want a bigger 300 by 300, 300 is the Okay, and I, I mean, I've seen the print quality of this thing. It's, it's quite gorgeous. Like to put it very lightly, it's almost perfect. Um, how fast does it print? Like reliably and as beautifully as? Because I'm guessing all these parts are printed with this machine. Yes, they are. I haven't really pushed it that hard. Um, I've printed a few benches at 120 millimeters a second, and they're, they're great. So, will this? come as a kit um, is it already available or when do you expect it to be available it'll be a kit I'm looking for a major release in February or March next year but I'm probably gonna do some small pre-leases before then maybe 10 to 15 units to kind of get some out there and, and test the waters a little bit I'm hoping to to keep up with the demand if, if the demand is there um, I enjoy doing this stuff this is why I, I designed and built this printer it's not I'm not looking to you know be a millionaire or anything I truly love uh, building 3D printers and building good 3D printers. And uh, this, it, it moves away from the traditional Z-axis lead screws. It actually works on a, it's a bell-driven Z-axis. Does that make it easier, uh, more complicated? Is it better, worse for prints? It's better all around. Um, you don't have two motors that get out of sync. You don't have no Z-wobble. Um, the machine is off now and people always ask me, wouldn't that belted Z fall if the machine was off? Well, no, it, it's not gonna fall. And it, uh, it keeps the X gantry from skewing. So if one side goes up or down, so must the other side. Because in fact, it does remove Z wobble completely because completely. there's literally, it's just rails, it, that, or in this case, rods. Um, so. 60 millimeter rods. <laughs> yeah, that's 60 millimeter. And these are 20 two 20 millimeter rods on the, uh, on the Y axis. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> genuine high wind uh, on the X as well. No, it's. It's by far over-engineered to perfection. It's, it's a beautiful machine. And what do you expect the retail price to be on this? I'm shooting anywhere between 18 to 2300. I'm trying to keep it as low as possible, but still obviously be profitable. So. This is kind of like the rail core of uh, bed, bed slinger or flinger? Yeah, bed slinger, slinger. Bed slinger, a slinger. I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not Americanized yet. <laughs> it's a work of art. It's beautiful. Um, where can people find more information about this? EliteMachineWorks.com. EliteMachineWorks.com. So I'll leave the link in the video description so you guys can check it out. Um, at some point, I will make the purchase and we'll have one on the channel. So make sure you stick around. In the meantime, Kyle, thank you, thank you very much and happy making, guys.